Alright. Uh, straight straight down the barrel. I'm Caleb Summers from Claremore, Oklahoma. I'm a survivalist, noodler, big game hunter. I shoot explosives. What else is there? Oh a rodeo. <laughs> I've been through some stuff. It's been uh, it's, it's been a wild life. From day one, Caleb has been full of life. From day one, he always pushes everything to the line. Push, push, push. <laughs> but he's uh, he's very big-hearted. He's always been big-hearted, even as just a little guy. Uh, First-generation rodeo guy right here. So I had never been anywhere done anything and of course like any first generation kid I wanted to ride bulls you know uh, I run that past my mom and she just she, she just slept that one right off and she said you, you can think again uh, she said why don't you bulldog uh, so at 14 years old I looked at my mom and I said well what is that one of the first few times I went out and got throttled by steers you know just got wallered and dragged around and stomped and kicked and I was thoroughly convinced those guys was trying to kill me. I mean, they, was, they didn't want to mess with anybody that was pee-hearted. And so I, I remember that was kind of a challenge I had in myself, and I thought, I can't quit. I cannot quit. I've got I've to keep hooked, you know? It was, a lot, it was a real rough and tumble go trying to figure that sport out. And it, it took me a solid year and a half of just, just getting beat up bad. He's lived hard in his 32 years, and he's did a lot than the regular, normal 32-year-old. You gotta have a balance in, in life. And for me, it was, uh, I, I tried to do as many things as I could. I had a lot of irons in the fire, and you know, all those things back then kind of formed who I am today. But it was always full contact, whatever it was. I was steer wrestling. Um, I was, then I start, you know, I started fighting. I had a short, short stint in, the, in my fighter's career. I mean, I was rolling, uh, Jiu-Jitsu and Roman Greco and then I fought in the cage. I mean that was just a highlight pinnacle. I had to do it and so I'd actually taken off rodeo for a little bit just so I could fight and then um, entered a college rodeo after taking off a semester and a half and won it and so I, that put wings back on my feet and then I, I couldn't do it all. I mean I tried. God knows I tried and so I uh, Stayed back in there through college and uh, bulldogged all the way through and, and then I, I knew it was time to take a break again and so uh, that's when I wanted to learn how to noodle. And so uh, I went through some extensive training with some friends of mine that was very good in Southeast Oklahoma and uh, after they taught me I took my everything that they learned or that they taught me to Northeast Oklahoma and that's when I taught myself where we're going today. And that's when I became, uh, after the third year of figuring it out, I became pretty much expert level. That's when I fired my guide service. So rodeo is on the back burner now for nearly four years while I, uh, while I noodle, I get this guide service going. We win the Okie Noodling Tournament in 2012. And that really puts me on the map as a guide. So now we're taking people all the time. The idea basically what we're looking for underwater a good indicator of what's above water so if you look right over there's a rock and you'll see a black kind of little black cave type deal up underneath the edge of it and a big fish will swim up in there and wallow that out make a big nest what you're seeing me doing while I'm in that water is feeling along bouncing along with my feet and uh, when my foot goes into a hole like that I immediately hold my breath go under run a stick up in through there and see if I get thumped real hard and, and it was good, and, and I had a lot of fun during that time. And so then I started putting on my own tournaments and festivals here in this town of Claremore. Anyway, rodeo never really lets go of you, though. So I decided it was time to get back to bulldogging. And once again, um, I went a rodeo, and after being off of it for nearly five years, and that put wings back on my feet again. So that was in 2014, and I've been going strong ever since. Muhammad is a professional noodler during the week and a cowboy on the weekends. And today, the long-haired country boy will get a 5.61. So a couple years ago, coming on three years ago, WCRA comes out with World Champion Rodeo Alliance. The more I find out about it, the more I liked it. Because what was happening here is I can't make my living on the road. 
I just, I'm not set up like some of these guys are. I mean, and a lot of us aren't. In fact, most of us aren't that rodeo. Um, some of us just, you know, we, some of us have to stay home and some of us have to work. And so, and we get to rodeo as much as we can. Caleb Summers, Claremore, Oklahoma. And then comes along WCRA to cater to some people like us. And, 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 and everybody uh, can compete with WCRA, but what that's done now is give you guys like me a chance to be able to compete with all these big guys that you see at the jackpots that you can't really keep up with them on the road because you have other obligations back home. And so the, the best thing to me, I mean, it, it's been the greatest thing. WCRA has had a huge effect on the rodeo world. They have absolutely made it very possible to go out and make a lot of money in such a short amount of time. He's good at and steer wrestling might hey, be hey. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> noodle this. So the WCRA has really became a, uh, a hit this last few years in rodeo. I mean, they've really made a big appearance on the scene and, uh, and they've got a lot of people's trust right now. So I still find that balance of, uh, of sports. I still know when it's time to step away. Um, I still noodle as hard as I ever did. It's a contact sport with me because you just, there's, a, there's an element of unknown going into a dark hole. That's an adrenaline charge to me. And I, I get that when I, I got that when I was steer wrestling. I, I got that charge whenever I was coming off the horse. There was sometimes a little bit of an element of unknown. You know, there's, um, it's controlled but you, st you still don't really, but there, you get an adrenaline charge out of that. When you've had as many near miss accidents as I've had, highlights in the wild, uh, near death incidents, you've created a high that you'll always try to get back to, typically in every trip you take. And so many things that I've done uh, outdoors wise and, and these hunts and these noodling trips I've been on uh, my god some of the bulldog and wrecks I've had there's a there's been this parallel of extreme risk um, self challenge you know you've made it before you won't let yourself down you're going to do it anyway and you're going to make that attempt no matter the cost and that has become my motto um, I no longer compete against anybody else. It's a competition within myself uh, to, keep, to keep on going for more.